Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema Sit Down. Look, I must not have seen the Batman because I think my hand is back to being somewhat steady. Um, I am, however, at the AMC Port Chester. I uh, just came out of seeing, uh, like, I guess you could say the latest big release. Uh, it feels like we haven't had any big releases or major releases since the Batman came out. And this, this is the one. This was like, you know, Batman got three weeks, and so then this movie was going to come out. And I got to tell you, it's been a while since I've seen a rom-com in the theaters, um, and it's been a while since I've seen the lead in a rom-com in a while. And I gotta tell you, what we what we got together on this one, uh, I, I'm really I'm really digging it. Uh, so why don't you pull up a chair, take a seat? We're getting ready to dive in, fresh out the theater, into the Lost City, and I have, of course, talking about Miss Sandra Bullock. Um, one of the things that you know made Sandra Bullock a household name, man, was just crushing in rom-coms and I tell you it was really fun to see her go back to that world um you know the last I feel like three four movies I've seen with Bullock in it have not been in the rom-com realm and it's like she doesn't miss a beat man like she is just true to form I, I her character kind of plays into this seriousness a little bit at the beginning so it takes a little while before she kind of really gets in but once you get into the f movie man like She's a really, really good time. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the idea of her being this romance novelist and gets pulled into this crazy, you know, like adventure situation uh, with her cover model, played by Channing Tatum, who is also absolutely fantastic. And one of the things that I really dug about the movie is that the movie let Channing Tatum do what Channing Tatum's good at, right? It didn't try to force him into the mold of any, like, certain particular male, you know, rom-com role, like, it let him do what he does well. Like, if you enjoy the 21 Jump Street movies, get ready for some funny ba banter between him and, and Bullock. That'll take you back to those types of movies. Um, I gotta tell you, the Knee Brothers, I think it's Aaron and Adam, um, are the writers and directors here. I tell you, man, they do a really nice job. Like, they really set up their leads to be able to play off of each other, to have fun off of each other, um, while also slowly simmering this, you know sexual energy between them and, and it, it like the chemistry between the you know Bullock and Tatum the whole movie is absolutely fantastic and I, the Knee Brothers it's one of those things where they just understand what a rom-com is and sticking a rom-com into a treasure hunting movie I tell you I've seen some treasure hunting movies <laughs> lately and this is one that I, I I enjoyed more than some of the other ones that I've seen um I, they really nail some of that stuff it doesn't go quite as big as other movies but in that kind of subtle treasure hunty type way, sets up lots of great things. The fact that she's a romance novel writer and kind of goes into these historical fiction type areas. Movie plays with that, plays into that, allows itself to kind of set itself up to do things that you would expect from the romance novels. And the, the play, the play on the romance novels in general, from the characters to the types of things that go on in romance novels, there's absolutely great stuff. Um, then when you're talking about the rest of the cast here, um, Daniel Radcliffe, I tell you, I would like to see Daniel Radcliffe play like a crazy James Bond villain, right? Like take him out of the rom-com setting and his, his uh, character here at Fairchild, I think, uh, something like that, or Fairfield, one of those, Fair something. Uh, but take him out of that and put him in like a Bond movie and have him not try to do comedic, but go serious with the level of crazy. He is batshit in this movie and I love it, man. It's one of those things where it's like, I could see people who haven't seen Radcliffe and anything in a while, watch this movie and go, man, Harry Potter just going over the top, man. And it's not true. Like, my man is just, everything he sinks his teeth into, he sinks his teeth into. And he certainly does that with this role. I mean, he plays the comedic version of a Bond villain perfectly. Where I, like, I would like to see what we get in this movie in a more serious tone. Because I think it can be legit scary, man. But, like, it's one of those things I keep saying. Like, people, if you're not watching Daniel Radcliffe movies because he's doing these small little indie flicks and things that aren't, you know, your big blockbusters go finally he's doing he's so good but he, he's wonderful in this movie like you can just tell he's having so much fun he's chewing the scenery um and he just plays off of everybody really really well and the only other actor i want to talk about um you know the rest of the supporting cast that pop in they all have like their little moments here and there and they fit perfectly inside of the rom-com structure but dark horse mvp of the movie yeah sandra bullock pulled in a friend favor brad pitt so freaking good man like it's one of the best cameo performances i've seen since tom cruise did that bit um in, in that adam sandler 
Robert Downey Jr. Jack Black movie. I can't think uh, of it right now, but that, that where he was in the fat suit and he was doing the dancing. This is on that level, man. What they give Pitt to do, what he brings to the movie. Now, he's not doing all of his own stunts, but the character... Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to spoil what the character does, but brings a, a level of action that we don't really get outside of the film. Um, he brings the pure masculinity role. And that's the thing, too, that I, I really like about the movie is this idea of talking about masculinity and femininity um, and, and, you know, just, just relationships in general. Um, but, like, you have Channing Tatum, who is the cover boy of masculinity on all of these books, and he's so the opposite of that. So getting to see him next to Brad Pitt really lets that pop. And Pitt is just perfect he's in a couple of spots every time he pops up it's fantastic the last time that we see him look out man <laughs> it's just it's great stuff from pit but overall man it's a good time i really enjoyed this uh like i said i love watching tatum and bullock play off of each other um i, I love watching them dissect the idea of a relationship through the idea of a romance novel becoming real life and tying that into things that Bullock like really you know cares about and the ideas of like things that you hoped or aspired to do but couldn't because of things or circumstances that come up um in, in your life and watching them kind of play off that and watching you know someone like Tatum be able to check Bullock um you know and, and kind of hit you with that like you know don't judge a book by its cover type stuff um it really hits well and like he just it's one of those things where his character just kind of gets it and those are the types of things that kind of start to bring those two together. The, the comedy is great. The action is fun. And it's just a fun movie, start to finish. Um, I, I have zero complaints about The Lost City. I had an absolute blast in the theater. So let's get the old Sea Maniacs up. Let's get the fresh out the theater score. Um, Bullock, Tatum, fantastic individually. Fantastic on screen together. Add in a little Brad Pitt, a little Daniel Radcliffe, some uh, other characters that are going to make you laugh. Follow that rom-com, you know, DNA to a T, you know, there's a playbook. And if you follow it, you're going to get that classic rom-com vibe that you get here. It doesn't reinvent the wheel by any means, but it's a ton of fun. Leans into the treasure hunting aspect a lot um, and just sets itself up to let its actors act and have fun. And thus, it's enjoyable as an audience member. So for me, I'm going to go three out of five C-Maniacs for uh, The Lost City. It's a real good time. Uh, if you're in the mood for a rom-com... It, it, it's 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 exactly what you want if that's what you're looking for so three out of five for the seaman um that's all i got now i want to know what you're thinking uh let me know if you are in the mood for a rom-com you plan to go see channing tatum and sandra bullock get lost in the city that's not true the lost city <laughs> if you're gonna go check that out um you know let me know what you're thinking about it if you've seen it thoughts Keep them spoiler free, but let me know what you're thinking. Anything you got down below in the comments section. Look forward to talking to you guys down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come check out the C-Man anytime we're outside the theater talking movies, TV, trailer reactions. You haven't yet. You want to come join the C-Maniac Nation? Super easy. All you got to do is jump over there. Hit that C-Man. Uh, so don't hit that C-Maniac button. But hit that subscribe button. And uh, hit that little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time for the C-Man Cinema. Sit down. Fresh out the theater. AMC, Port Chester. I'm pretty sure those are two moms going in to see The Lost City, and they, like, started to beam as they realized what I was talking about. So there you go, man. The, the Seaman's re reviews inspiring people as they walk in. <laughs> but AMC and Port Chester, uh, Lost City, great time. If you're in the mood for a rom-com, go do it. I'm getting out of here. As always, I've been the Seaman. I'm signing off. Peace. Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, you must be sticking around because you're looking for more content feature in this guy. Well, guess what? You're in the right place. You can check out more videos right here and right here. Uh, and if you have and you want to come join that C-Maniac Nation, you can hit that subscribe right over there.